happening, you beautiful humans? My name is Ariane Andrew. I'm Matt Dillon, and welcome to another Piping Hunt episode of Sipping the Tea. Where we are, girl? Where we sip the tea, and our guests spill that tea. Yeah. Baby, you, Wait, you kind of waiting. That was off. Are you going to delay over there? Or am I going to delay? I'm going to delay from you, child. But you know, whatever. It was like kind of like a cappella. <laughs> it was. Because I was like, oh, when I even did my intro, it was like. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, was the TV like, Whoa. Anyways. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Where is Mama? Mama is uh, at the restaurant with Uncle Nolan, chilling out, having a, having a glass of wine on a Friday night. Oh, OK. Well, Glitty is somewhere sleeping. Um, don't know where she is. We, we lost the dogs. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I am truly excited to chat to this next character. This human being like embodies so much that I love about people. Authentic, real, professional wrestler with AEW, breaking new ground just by living their truth. And I am so honored to have Sunny Kiss XO, baby. What's pop? <laughs> Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> of course. We had to have the personality, the sass, the entertainer, the go-getter, oh, oh, the wait, fucking wait, wait, wait. pussy popper on the show. <laughs> I mean, you do define pussy popping, so we could not have you on, you know? Exactly. <laughs> um, <too> <laughs> okay, so we're going to dive on in. <laughs> 2020 was a very interesting year to say the very least. Um, the world experienced so many different things and it was so much negativity, but we are we wanna focus on the positivity. So looking back at 2020, what are some things that you were able to take away as an individual and reflect as well as with your career? Oh yeah, 2020, like you said, it, it was definitely a year. Um, I went through a lot, including a breakup and everything. But like you said, we're gonna focus on the positive. Yes. And I felt like it was a great year for me cognitively. I feel like I rediscovered a lot in myself. Um, I was um, being very transparent, more transparent than I've ever been. Um, I've been taking accountability. I always say 2020 is my year of accountability. And I've been just doing so much of that, being responsible and just basically just growing. And it, it was basically my year that I've literally grown. Like I went from 26 to 27, but I also grown just, <laughs> I went from like 25 to 50 in my mind. Cause it's just like, I've just grown a lot. So yeah. I, I love that. I love the idea of uh, that I guess 2020 was transformational in you mentally kind of coming and being like, I I love who I am and I want to put it out there. And there's so many people that ride with you and you represent something that the world needs in such a big way right now. Authentically, who you are, no apologies, none of that BS, and you still get your job done. So take us through Wanting to be a wrestler, like where did this, like where did this start? I'm like, tell me, I want to know every detail because it's it's fascinating to me, and you're so damn good at not only the wrestling but the entertainment part of it. It's it's sick. Ah, oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> um, so I've always loved wrestling as a kid, almost like everyone. Um, I felt like as a kid, I just was gravitated towards a lot of like the women and like the cruiserweights and I always thought they were super cool. And um, so I've always just liked it, but I was actually dancing and um, I'm about to get into something really awesome. You're going to, you're going to see where I'm connecting it. So I got into dancing um, and it was so funny because I started, I stopped watching wrestling for, for a little while because my favorites were like Trish Stratus and like Lita and then they like left for a bit. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I saw Cameron and Naomi. <laughs> what? Yes, I saw Cameron and Naomi, and like I was like, oh my god, they're dancing and stuff like that, and like with Rhoda's clay, and I thought that was like super duper cool. So like the whole dancing and stuff like that, and intertwining the dancing and wrestling, and then there was also like girls like Eve and like Layla, and I thought that was super cool. Um, and so yeah, I, I my friends saw that I was really athletic. They were also wrestlers already. They were independent wrestlers. They were like, you're super athletic and you're so like flippy. You could do, you, like you're a dancer, so you're naturally athletic. So like you should just come to trial at my wrestling school or whatever and come to like do a thing and I went and I like never looked back. 
Wow. Wow. And there's, there's the, I mean, that's the start of something so special. And yes. it's also like, yes. Yes, Cameron. right. And that's inspirational too, to, you know, know that you were able to look at something I did and be like, well, not just me, but the group, you know, the whole group and be like, yo, so for that, I feel <laughs> super inspired. <laughs> um, but Sunny Kiss, the character, the name, how, like, take us back, you know, how did you create your character? You know, everyone has such a different character, but yours is so different. So walk us in the audience who, you know, know you or may not know you and how Sunny Kiss came alive. Honestly, much like you, Ari, like the authenticity, like you brought to wrestling, it's very much me. So um, it's just everything that I am, everything Sunny Kiss is, is who I am, which my real name is Hassan, but I don't want to tell it, say that, but you know, yeah. <laughs> and it's Hassan, so Hassan and Sunny are two different, oh, two, two, uh, basically the same person. I just take Sunny and I turn it up a notch. And uh, yeah, really, it's just that's just how my character came about. Um, everything is pretty much me, um, except I think that Hassan is a little more shy. Sunny's a little more out there, but. You're, <laughs> you're also you're eager, right? Like what Beyonce yeah. has, like, what is it, Sasha Fierce? Is it yeah. Sasha Fierce? Yeah. So. Hassan has Sunny, kiss, let's go. Exactly. Let's go. I think that's beautiful. As I will say, as a gay man, looking at somebody like you and looking at you putting yourself out there on an international platform, no bullshit, no filters, no nothing, and playing with the level. Like you you, you came to play and you are playing and you're on the same level as everybody else. You're just doing it as you and it's, it's beautiful to watch. How does that make you feel that there are young boys that are just like you and I when we were kids going through things and seeing, now we're seeing representation. And I know I've read a few interviews where, you know, AEW, you're there, I think, based on your talent and your showmanship. But I think you represent so much more than just that to so many young boys and children. Yeah. How does that make you feel? It's, it's like, it's a big, it's a big moment. It's a huge moment. I, I never get used to hearing it. Like, it still feels crazy to me. Take like, it in. Take it in. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, it's nuts. And then, like, there's uh, LGBTQ fans and uh, uh, other upcoming LGBTQ talent that are like, oh, my God, Sunny, like, I've started my journey because of you. Or I started, like, doing it because of you and just really just embracing who I am. And even just certain people that were just, like, cisgender, um, you know, people that were basically transitioning because they felt they saw that I was um, comfortable with who I am and in my skin, they were like, oh my God, like, I don't understand. Like, how, 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 how are you doing that? And I'm like, literally, I just went full force with it. I just said, uh, you know, listen, if I'm going to be in wrestling, I'm going to be in wrestling as who I am. And I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to be any more extra. I'm not going to be any less. So it's either just take me as I am, take me how I am, or I'm not going to do it at all. Wow. Um, I uh, that that takes balls though. That takes. Yeah. I I want to. I want to. I didn't brush my hair, but I'm going to take my hat off real quick. Uh. <laughs> I want to <laughs> take my hat off to you and say, honest from my gut and my heart to you, I wish there were characters and human beings like you when I was a young boy that I could be like, wow, because what you're doing, whether you realize it or not, just by living and doing what you love, is changing the landscape. Yep. of wrestling and the landscape of just living and you know the the dichotomy of the fandom and that is is so varied and it, it's 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 i i do honestly believe it's brave of you to to live yourself and to to be out there like that i i really do so com i commend you from the bottom of my heart it, yeah. it hits me it hits me a lot for real I know it hits us very I'm gonna have a moment in a second. So hang on. Ah. <laughs> no, it really does. It really, really does hit me hard because if there were more people like you out there, because I live my life 100 too, and Ariane knows this. It's like, yeah, you're. Oh, we're having a. I love this. Oh, I didn't realize this was going to happen, but this, this, we, we need more people that don't give a fuck. No, but this is anyway. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. No, but this is what sipping the tea is about, right? You know, I think uh, it's always so beautiful when we have people come on because at the end of the day, everyone is when you look at it, someone's Instagram, most people are putting their highlight reel up and you're trying to still be the most authentic self. 
but you know, you truly are embracing, you know, who you are. And someone who's come from the wrestling world where I hate to put labels on stuff, but it's like, you know, being a different race and a minority and things, you know, in life, you do have these things that are setbacks. But I feel like when people use it as as an excuse, it's like, no, use it as your competitive advantage saying, no, this is what makes me different. Use it as a positive to say, okay, yes, I have to fight a little bit harder. I may have to do things that are a little bit different, but that's the fucking beauty of it, you know? And um, well said, well said. Yeah, it's because people people use it as a crutch. And I think what's so beautiful too is um, how AEW is so open and letting you do exactly how you want to be without feeling like there's this pressure. Now, I know it's not always been like that, like I was saying before. So how did you get through a time where you felt like your back was against the wall because you felt like maybe you couldn't be yourself? Has there ever been a moment where you felt that and wasn't sure what to do? Um, So the thing is, I think sometimes people go about things the wrong way and it's okay to, you know, stand up for yourself and be a little assertive, but it's not what you do is how you do it. Mm -hmm. And with me, um, I kind of would, would, if a person was throwing something at me, an idea or a pitch that I didn't really see as me, I would say, hey, look at it from this perspective. And I'm the person that's living the lifestyle and being the person. So listen to the authenticity of who I am and not what you think I'm supposed to be. Um, So I kind of, in a way, would take what they did, even like, sometimes I wouldn't even tell them in that way. I would just go out there and I would show them. So when I first started wrestling at ACPW, my my, my trainer at the time, bless his heart, he just, you know, it was like, oh, maybe you should do like, uh, you know, more wigs or earrings or, and I'm like, Interesting. That's not what all LGBT LGBT people are. Like we're not all this. I need a I need a wig though, babe. That's (laughs) (laughs) right. I'll take a wig (laughs) though. We're not all the same. So I had to kind of like guide them and to kind of show them like, hey, you know, you don't need to always put this on this person or to 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 make LGBT people be that person that you think they are. Because a lot of times let them show you and it could be just as great and even more amazing. Wow. That's such a great perspective. And I always say perspective is when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So I like how you, you, you took a moment that maybe didn't resonate with you, but you're like, this is, and like, it's so true. It's not, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. And sometimes it is kind of, you know, breaking the rules a little bit and saying like, well, let me just show you because sometimes if you don't show someone they don't, they don't know. And then you're like, oh, wow, I would have never looked at it that way, you know? So good for you too, for just being like, I'm going to do it in a very, you know, nice way, but I can show you better than I can tell you. And like you said, like being a certain like race or being a certain gender, it can come across a certain way if you come at them a certain way. And sometimes, you know, that's probably warranted by the end of the day, you know, you have to make your chingle chingles, what you say. So (laughs) don't stop, don't stop your own bag. If you know, if you can help it, if you can say, hey, like, you know, or you could be like Ariana, so get your bag different ways. Like boom, 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 boom. Now, <laughs> I <laughs> love gotta... this. Yes, yes. <laughs> when the bag gets stopped, you got another bag, another bag, another bag somewhere else, you know. Okay, yes. You're gonna have multiple, multiple bags, honey. You're gonna have multiple yes. bags. Yes. Have your fingers in all bags. have your fingers in all pots. Yes. I want to I want to adjust because I'm getting this beautiful vibe of joy, happiness. Like this this feels like a safe loving space and I want to I want to know how as a human being you got to this space because there and I'm going to lay it out because people do look up to you. you have young boys girls you have people that look up to you that probably aren't in that space where they have they don't even know what the fuck they are they don't know what they stand for who they are how did you get to that point to this vibrant human being because for me that is that is I think half your success in wrestling yeah you have probably been through peaks and trust but if there was a young girl boy somebody that doesn't know who they are within their own 
or thinks that there's something else. Like we all go through things when we're growing up. What would you give them? Like, what could you say that could like start them on a path? Just a path starter. It's a lot. because I know it is. I know it's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's lives are different and everybody's lives are set up different. They may not have the same circumstances that I do. Mm -hmm. um, it could be different types of family, family members, different types of acceptance. Um, they might not have the same friends group, which is also very important. Um, surrounding yourself with positive people mm -hmm. and people that allow you and allow your ideas to come yeah. Allow like, am I putting to Ariane? <laughs> I hear Hanny. Hanny. Uh, uh, people that believe in your probably sometimes ridiculous ideas or whatever it is, um, you just need to believe in yourself first and surround yourself with positive, uh, optimistic people who say, say, that's crazy, but I love it. You know what I mean? Just literally just the authenticity. That's the biggest thing. And before anybody, like any, nobody can't tell me who I am because I already know that. And I discovered that when I was very, very young. So at this point, nobody can't say, like if you, if a person calls me the F bomb or something like that, I'm just like, okay, like you know what you mean? Like I've been knowing this since I was in kindergarten. So you can't tell me anything anymore. And once I realized that in my heart and in my soul, and I, like I said, I surrounded myself with positive people that I know of there, I got plenty of people that do love me for who I am, like a person on the street or a person out there, like they can't tell me nothing. So I'm going to show you who I am in all facets and take it or leave it. Okay, anybody that uses that F bomb, honey, they want to get some. So cheers to that. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, for real. And, no. and I have plenty of experiences with that. So pussy pat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes, honey. Okay, okay, we are not we're not going to the club right now. We're, gonna, oh, we're not okay. No, right, we're gonna right, you know, right. we can maybe take it to the club after. No, I know because I have I'm gonna go off a little bit off the cuff just because what you said and you know what you're talking about, you're this person that has so much light. Like that when I came to AEW, you're literally the per the person I was like drawn to. I was just like, oh my god, this is like it felt like family, and that's the energy and the aura that you put out there. But on the flip side, you know, I think it's also important when you have a platform to let the audience know and let fans know when you are having a rough day because we all go through them. Yeah. And, you know, what are some things that you do when you feel like, wow, today is just not my day. I'm not feeling it. I don't feel like my bubbly self. What are some things you do and what can be some advice you would give to people when they're like, I just can't do it today, but I look at Sunny and... Yeah. This, you know, this beautiful human is always at a hundred and it's perfect and all these things. It like, does look like that though. It yeah. does. That's, what I, that's what I wanted to get to though, actually, because it's so funny you say that. I'm not always super, super confident. I'm actually very, very shy. And even in this interview, I had to warm up a little bit first. Like I'm still getting there, you know. Um, oh, I, you've, I get, you've arrived. Oh, you've no, you're good. Arrived. <laughs> yes, you're good, bro. I'm, I'm extremely shy, but overall, like overall, like as far as just like me walking into a room, like dressed the way I am and talking the way I am, looking the way I am, that part of me will never go away. But sometimes, you know, maybe I'm like, um, I'm not feeling the best today. Like you said, like you have your days and I don't feel like I look as good today. Like I still know I'm fierce, but I feel like I'm not looking as good, you know, or whatever, or I'm get I'm down about, I don't feel like I performed well. Um, a lot of times it's just accepting the fact that um, you're human and it's okay to, because it's a part of, it's a part of human emotion to feel all emotions, like whether it's happiness, sad, comfort, uh, aggravated sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you don't, you don't want to talk to anybody. You don't want to talk, you don't, you don't have anybody around you and you want to kind of reflect and kind of decompress and chill. Um, the, the biggest thing is just realizing that it's normal to feel these feelings. And even like when you are in the process of when you're gaining your confidence or when you feel like you have it all there, sometimes you you know, you go back a little bit. Um, and it's a very, very, very normal thing. And I'm still dealing with it as a wrestler, as a person. I'm still growing. Like, there's still a lot more to me. Um, and I feel like, you know, like I said, just I realize every day that it's totally normal to feel these feelings and to just keep pushing and keep going. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, a, it's a strong mindset that you have, though, because everyone that we bring on the show is someone who has is 
either left the legacy. Well, I don't want to say left because they're still here, but they're leaving a legacy. They're leaving their mark. And mm -hmm. one thing I noticed that is mutual between all the people is the mindset. It's really like a mindset thing of just knowing like when your back is against the wall that it's not, it's not final until it's final. So it's like, okay, I've had this moment. It's okay to feel this way. It's okay not to be okay, but I still got this. I can't just bury myself under a rock just because, you know, this amazing thing didn't happen. So, I mean, I think that's also too very inspiring to hear you say that like, okay, maybe today isn't pussy popping, yeah. but it's okay. I got this and I can move forward. So thank you for sharing that. And thank you again. I mean, I knew it would be nothing but you keeping it 100, but I think that it's so important when we do do these that it definitely peels back layers for people to really get to know who the person is. Cause we all at the end of the day are human beings, no matter how, who looks up to us, we all are human. So appreciate you dropping all these little knowledge bombs over here, bro. I, I agree. <laughs> I think it's important to to kind of honor the the position you find yourself in and be like, wow, honor it for yourself, but honor it for all the beautiful human beings that are around you, your colleagues, the fans, the the world. It's it's just a nice position. So it, it kind of leads me to what does 2021 look like for you? What does Sunny want 2021 to be? In, in totality, well, you know, fast forward to the end of the year, what what, what kick-ass shit do you want to have achieved? Because I know you got a list. You look like a, you look like a goal setting. I bet you, you I, if I said to you, do you have a little book somewhere with all the goals written down? You look like, yeah, yes, you do. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> yes. You better cut, cut, cut. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. Come on now. Get it. Get it. Get it, get it, get it now. <laughs> no, I in all seriousness don't. you do look like somebody that does it's not by default the goodness is coming you yeah. your mind is in a wonderful place that you do execute things that's what i'm trying to get at but you can cack if you want can i get a cack come on now a cack after it's, the answer yeah, oh, get, 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 get it Work, 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 coming now. <laughs> All right, Ari, Ari wants to get the interview going. Okay, okay, okay. So no, I don't have a list actually um, written, but I do need to start doing that more. It's, it's definitely in my mind for sure. Okay. Um, so more, like the, my main goal, and I know this is different for a lot of people in wrestling, but my main goal is like not being like on the top. I just want to get like better with my, with, you know, with my wrestling, my in-ring skills, and also, mm -hmm. um, continue to break barriers and to continue to be you know just someone that some people can look up to so just continue to keep being that like successful you know lgbt icon quote unquote um and yeah no you are <laughs> you you are no and speaking of breaking barriers um you know you had to, you got this amazing moment to face Cody at the time for the AEW TNT Championship. And that within itself is huge because A, there's so many people who want to get to make it to the, you know, to be on TV, but then let alone be able to even have the opportunity to even be like, I got to have that. You know, most people never get to touch that. So what was that feeling like? And just, yeah, walk us through that moment and what that means for you as Sunny, um, but also for what that means for the LGBTQ community and also what that means um, in wrestling. Oh, that's a three for question. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, because it's, 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 it's breaking barriers in so many different it ways. It really is. It yeah. is. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, I heard about it the week prior. I didn't actually know it was going to happen. I was shocked because here I was, I was just doing AW Dark, which is totally fine because I love Dark and I love, I just love performing in general. So um, it doesn't matter where I am. I know that I'm going to make an impact whether it's on Dark or Dynamite. So it didn't really make a difference to me. Um, but when they were like, you're going to face Cody and it's on TNT and it's, you know, if I put a fall in, um, I was just kind of like, at first I was just shocked and then I kind of got, you know, it, it died down a little bit um, just because I was kind of like letting it marinate. But then like a few days prior, I could not sleep and I'm all thinking about it, like, oh my God, this is huge. And that's the main thing. It's, it was bigger than me. That moment was truly bigger than me. It was literally 
amazing for LGBTQ having a big title match, you know, LGBTQ person to have a big title match on national television. It was one of the highest uh, rated segments that night. It had over 862,000 viewers. So, I don't know. I think I heard that the fans even said, it, said that. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. They said that and I just kind of thought that was super cool and kind of crazy and I just couldn't believe it. But yeah, I, it was definitely bigger than me. And um, I just, it was amazing because um, at first I really didn't think about the cheerleaders, um, but I had the cheerleaders last year, the NFL uh, Jacksonville Jaguars cheerleaders or whatever. And um, they're like, you have to have that again this year. And I'm like, wait, I'm thinking this is a title match. I'm going to you know, go full forward focus into the match. And they're like, no, yeah, let's get the cheerleaders. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's do it. And then so I choreographed the routine both this year and well, last year and the year before. Uh, and it was super duper awesome to have that moment and to have a big title match. And because I love dancing and I love intertwining that with my wrestling career, I'm always going to be both. And they're both equally uh, uh, passions of mine. So, um, yeah, it, like I said, it's, you guys, I, I'm all over the place, but <laughs> it was definitely truly a, a bigger moment than just me. It was Sunny Kiss, but the LGBT community was like here and this is for us. And I wanted to do the best I could. I'm not exactly super happy with the match. I, I let my nerves get to me at a certain point. But overall, um, it was a moment. And it was it, it was needed. And I, I know I will have one again. And it'll be even bigger. And like I said, I'm 27. I got plenty of time to peak. Because if you peak at 27, where can you go after that? So, uh, I, yes, I'm 27. I'm still growing. And I'm loving it. So, up we go, more and more moments, more and more title matches, uh, more and more just growth in the yeah. ring, out of the ring, and that's it. <laughs> this energy, 27, I just turned 38. My ass is on, I'm about to go for a nap. Uh, <laughs> I know with my ass, I'm like, well, I'm gonna be 34 this year, but- I'm like 27, I'm like, you bitch. <laughs> no, but it's okay because I feel like two people sometimes do put an age on things and just from someone, I mean, you know, Matt's the oldest, but I'm older than you, that I feel like everyone's journey is so different. And just cause if you even have a big moment, Sometimes you got to come back down to get grounded, regroup, to have even a sure. bigger moment, you know? And I just feel like Absolutely. life is always about like this, because it is true. I feel like you you get to the high point, but you do got to be need to be taken down a little bit to remember, mm -hmm. okay, remember where I came from, to be mm -hmm. able to be built back with more knowledge, more power. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's, it's like the journey of life. Sure like, it's, it's the beauty, the process of enjoying the lows and the highs. Because everyone wants to get to the high, but it's kind of like what you're saying. Once you get there, you're like, okay, the whole point was the mm -hmm. blood, sweat, and tears to get there, you know? Yes. So it is definitely, it's definitely the journey. And thank you for just taking us on an amazing journey this here. It's been a wild ride, let me tell you. It has. <laughs> Um, we gonna definitely get some cacks in, but before we get some cacks, oh, we are not. I want real cacks. <laughs> that, was, that was not a cack, honey. I, I want like the couch is your domain, darling. Yes. So we're gonna get oh, some cacks. So we're gonna be like, but I, ha I, I haven't called it yet. I haven't called it yet. That's so after our I'm rapid gonna, fire, gonna we're gonna do some rapid fire. Cat to cat. Okay. So rapid fire. It's the first thing that um comes to your mind. Okay. So real quick, if you have to choose hair or makeup? Hair. Oh wait, no, makeup, sorry, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> hair. Wait, you're like, with me, I don't, I don't, I barely got any hair. No, oh, but you, God. but you know, like, shit. The, because the, you said first thing comes to the mind and I said hair because you said hair first. <laughs> Oh, this, right, is, this is gold. This is gold. Okay. Okay. Netflix and chill or like a, an evening out, whining, dining, fine dining? Netflix and chill. Okay. If you had one superpower, what would it be? Uh, teleportation. Mm. Mm, that sounds kinky, but next. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Last I was question. like, honey, teleport it somewhere else. All right, I'm gonna I'm throw I'm gonna throw one. If somebody was to play, and you're 20, you're younger, so it's a, it's a big question. But let's say right now they're gonna make a movie of the moment. Who would play you in a film? Who would you want? Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, who, I don't know anyone who looks like me. I'll play, I'll play myself. Yeah. I was hoping for I, that. Ooh, I was hoping you would say that. Yes. Me too. Yes. Me too. Yeah. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Um, well, before we go ahead and wrap it up on Zoopin, do we get a little cat to cat action? Oh, we, we need to make sure this. You know, I'm a, I may have to like change up my camera a little bit. Uh, we're going to change it. Wait, Here we I'm go. Gonna we're going to get it. Wait, hold on. I'm wearing sweatpants. All right, we're changing it. Let's hope this camera doesn't break. Oh, gosh. How? Let me see. Hold on. We change Can I put this on? Here we go. This yeah. is real. Wait, life I wasn't tech. ready. Hold on. Wait, let me. Oh, shit. Hold on. All right. All right. You got to turn. Oh, wait. I haven't called you yet. Y'all haven't been gone. Okay. And my sweatpants. Ooh. All right. Three, two, one. There's server hitting that today. Turn around, bitch. Jack, 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 Jack. Work it up. Jack, 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 Jack. Work it up. Ah! Jump, 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 jump to the floor. Jump, 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 jump. Come back. Oh, girl, bye. <laughs> And that is a sip of the tea first. <laughs> that is a first sunny kiss. You got the voice, honey, the voice, honey. They call me Celine Dion. Oh my God. <laughs> well, so. I never wanted to meet you. Here we go. Like, sunny. Oh, do I need to get glitties? Mommy Hi. gets scared with those packing. So oh. she came over. That was funny um, that got me sweated. <laughs> Glitty somewhere. Okay, so for people who are living under a motherfucking rock, let everybody know where they can follow you at, watch you on TV, spill the tea. So you can follow me on social media at SunnyKissXO. That's Twitter and Instagram, S O N N Y K I S S X O. Uh, <laughs> shop aw.com for my merch uh you can watch me aw dark on tuesday 7 6 central on youtube and aw dynamite 8 7 central on tnt Mwah. Ooh, that was that was popping and where can everybody follow you I, i'm surprised i didn't stutter usually i would have stuttered on that but i guess i'm comfortable now on that cack you know, like after <laughs> that cack honey right? yeah. <laughs> i have a way to make everybody feel comfortable and I was gonna say that. Matt, I was gonna say that, Matt. I feel like I've known you forever. Like I feel like I've I known you forever. I feel a good vibe. Long. I feel a such a nice vibe with you. You're good people. Yes, oh, good you people. are. Thank you so much, you guys. This was awesome. This is like the most fun like interview. I've done. I actually was supposed to do Ryback yesterday, but Ryback couldn't get it together. Sorry, I'm still a team. I'm still a team. Oh wait, where's the team? I'm still like tea. No, I, lo I love Ryan. Ryan's awesome. We're going to definitely make it happen. But yeah, it was, it's a little technical difficult. Scene, a little but technical okay. difficult. But that's what we try to do here on SIP. And we literally, it's, it's about like obviously being interview and like spilling tea and having a good time. Mm -hmm. But the most part is like having fun because it's not supposed to oh, be yeah. like, oh my God, what am I going to say? It's like, no, like let's make this feel like a family mm -hmm. and that we're having a good time. It's like if we're like sitting here on FaceTime, like, yeah. Tell me about your day. You know what I mean? But in a more, more of a structure. Right. So, a lot um, more intimate setting. Yeah. So, like that. Somewhat we structured. We appreciate you. But before we I go, Matt, let everybody know where they can follow you out on Instagram. You can follow me at Matt Dillon 1983 and Ariane, lady, lady of the hour. Where can we follow you, darling? You guys can follow me across the board at Ariane Andrew. And of course, follow Sippin' the Tea at Sippin' the Tea TV show on Instagram and Sippin' the Tea TV one on Twitter. We will catch you guys same time, same place of another episode of Sippin' the Tea TV show. Yeah, 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 yeah.